So today is a very, very auspicious day. <clears throat> I picked up, a, I do drive for Uber, and I picked up a guy near Commons on the north side. His name was uh, Anurag, Indian gentleman. And I said, I know what Anurag means. It means the highest love. And that's what Lord Nityananda is giving. He says you can't achieve love of God unless, because, unless you get the mercy of Lord Nityananda because uh, Lord Chaitanya, has, he has a key to his treasure chest of love. So you have to go through Nityananda in order to get Lord Chaitanya's mercy. Nityananda is also, he is also a Balaram, Krishna's brother. So Nityananda and Lord Chaitanya, they're two brothers. And uh, he's also Lakshman, Hanum, uh, Ram's brother. And he's also Ananta, Ananta Dev, who's the thousand-headed snake that's holding up all of the planets. And uh, so, very, uh, he's the first incarnation of Krishna. So we, <coughs> well, that's why we sing, Lord Chaitanya, Sri Krishna Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Raita Gadadha, Sri Vasadi, Gaur Bhakta Vrinda, before we chant, because that makes it very easy to chant the holy name when we invoke the mercy of all these personalities. It's a very personal process. We have to get the mercy of these personalities in order to chant. Otherwise, we can't chant on our own. It's not a process of, you know, like practicing or scholarship or austerity or mercy or charity or anything. It's a matter of getting the mercy of Krishna. When he's pleased with our service and surrender, then he will reveal himself to us if he wants to. We can't demand anything. We're chanting Hare Krishna, so Krishna appeared 5,000 years ago, and according to Bhagavad Gita and Krishna's words, uh, he is the supreme personality of Godhead. In short, he is God. God is a person. And Krishna comes to this world, God comes to this world, or sends his representative where there is a need to come to this world. We are in this world, somehow or other, we've chosen to turn, our, to turn away from God, and we we are in this world, and based on our karma, we have different situations. And Krishna himself comes, different incarnations, or again, the sense of prophets and uh, representatives and so on, to, to remind us and to provide instruction and guidance and example in their own lives. So 5,000 years ago, Krishna came with a specific purpose. And then 500 years ago, Krishna again returned. And in a very, very special incarnation. It's a, considered the most magnanimous incarnation of all. Because he comes not as the supreme person. He is a supreme person, but he comes in the role of a devotee, a lover of God, to teach by example. And what he inaugurated was this chanting Hare Krishna that we were doing. He inaugurated and made the, the prediction that this chanting of the names of Krishna will spread to every town and village in the world. And we can see nowadays all over the planet this chanting is going on in different countries and so on. Now, whenever Krishna, whenever God comes, He doesn't come alone. And He doesn't come with ordinary people. He comes with His eternal associates. In the spiritual world, we have paintings just depicting the spiritual world. There are eternal associates. And one such associate of Krishna is Balaram. Balaram is his brother, he's his elder brother. The only difference between Balaram and Krishna is the color. So Balaram is also essentially the Godhead. He's a supreme person. He's an expansion. Just like if you have a candle and you light another candle, that second candle still has the same potency as the first candle. But that one candle might be blue and the other one's white. So Krishna is bluish and Balaram is white. So when Krishna comes again, 
500 years ago as Lord Chaitanya in, in the uh, yellow dress. He, is, he comes with his associates and of course this prime associate is Nityananda. And today is the appearance, we're celebrate, celebrating the appearance of Lord Nityananda in the world. Now, Nityananda being the first expansion is considered the original guru, the original teacher. His position is God, but God as servant. So he is always in the mood of service to Lord Chaitanya. Even though Lord Nityananda appeared 12 years before Lord Chaitanya and was considered an older brother, still he always accepted that position as a servant of Lord Chaitanya. He appeared in a small town called Ikachakra in West Bengal. And there was a meeting eventually. Actually, we say he's his brother, but actually he was born in a different family. But they're eternally related. And <clears throat> they met when Nityananda was 32 and Lord Chaitanya was 20. And Lord Nityananda was considered somewhat of a... Uh, I don't know what the English term is for Avaduk, but a very eccentric type of person. He was uh, not ordinary to say the least. He could actually slap chat taggers on the cheeks and <laughs> play with alligators and induce even animals to chant the names of God. This is how, uh, I mean, we have even stories of St. Francis who was able to speak with a wolf because the whole village was uh, being uh, threatened by this wolf and Lord uh, St. Francis went and spoke to the wolf and chastised him and the wolf became submissive. So in a similar way Lord Nityananda uh, he had very uncommon activities and we're going to see one specific activity where he went out and there were a couple of brothers in the village there who were always involved in abominable activities and very sinful uh, even though they were born in a priestly class they were very very sinful and uh, Lord Chaitanya uh, in short I mean uh, Lord Nityananda in short was able to give his blessings to these people and actually change their hearts uh, <clears throat> and um, so Lord Nityananda is very merciful so we have these prayers. Whenever we, we, we mention the name of Chaitanya, another name for Chaitanya is Nimai, when he was young. His name was Nimai. And Nityananda, short for Nityananda, is Nitai. So we say uh, Nimai and Nitai. Nitai, Nimai. Nitai, Nimai. We, they're, they're always together. We cannot say one without the other. And if you see the altars, uh, if you go to the temples, whenever you see Lord Chaitanya, he's always accompanied by Nityananda. And uh, so there's, I mean, there's, it's unlimited what could be said about Lord Nityananda. In the previous incarnation, he was Lord Balaram, his associate of Krishna. And prior to that, as Shikshastika mentioned, he was uh, Lakshman in the pastimes of Lord Ramachandra. <clears throat> so uh, we're, we're ready now to watch this uh, small video.